Well, of course, the nice thing about hands is um, you've got one in front of you to uh, practice on. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just going to zoom this out. Of, hang on, zoom this there. Now, look, basically what you've got over the hand is, is you've got a circle. And then there's one sausage going off at 90 degrees and four going off 90 degrees to that one. So that's basically what we're doing. Uh, I'll just get that up a bit there like that. Have we got that? Yeah, that looks good. Now, so what you want to do is draw a circle. Just pretty simple. And, uh, and what you've got here is you've got this kind of ball of the hand here. So that's kind of taking up that part of the thumb. That's what gives you this opposable thumb kind of thing. Um, and you're going to have your fingers kind of going off and they kind of point in a little bit. I'm trying to say, actually, I've never thought about this before. Let me zoom out again. Oh, no, I'm lo losing my focus. <laughs> what have we got there? That's, if I actually measure that, so from, from kind of the wrist to there, then it's it's a bit longer, isn't it? So let me zoom back up. Um, it's probably going to go about like that, and then we've got that finger there, like that. So uh, four fingers. So draw a line up the middle, and then split that one again, and that kind of splits it into four. And look at the way this thumb is kind of going out that way. It's coming back on itself. Hang on, let's move that over. Coming back on itself. Like that. And I think that should be a bit longer there actually. And that's kind of basically got your hand. So there's the circle and the four fingers. <coughs> um let's draw this thumb in there like that. And this can have all sorts of little wrinkles and bits where it fits in. The nice thing about having your own hand there is <laughs> you can always refer to it to see how it works. I don't know if you can hear it, there's my cat trying to come in. But you just have to wait. <laughs> You'll have to wait, Darcy. Okay, now the next finger will come up like that. Uh, 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 I'll just let him in, hang on. <laughs> come on then. Um, and then that's going to kind of come there like that. And then the little fingers come up quite a bit there, like the, the pinky. We don't really call it a pinky in England. Um, and then you've got this kind of line there, and a line across there, and you've probably got another one there. You can look at your own hands. And then these split up into um, three sections like that. And you just got to kind of look at your hand and draw it. <laughs> so that it's going to be something like that. Um, and for a bit of shading, um, what you can do is just make it make the shading kind of deeper around, you know, the the, the knuckle part there where it fits. And uh, and that kind of does the hand there, doesn't it? So um, you're going to want this to be a bit more shaded down there. Just see, I got light coming from all directions here for the camera, so it's quite hard to get some shading. So something like that. And it's kind of not the most brilliant proportion. Um, now let's see if we can do something another way. So if we draw a circle. And if you just think of that as being this, this kind of palm, you might want to make it more of a, I don't know, an overly kind of thingy. Everybody's hands are different shapes. So uh, you can always ask your friends to um, to pose for you and get, have a look at their hand. Uh, and let's try having fingers spread out like that. So this is gonna be the middle points, so that would be the finger. So one, two, three, four. No, hang on a minute. <laughs> That's not where it is. So uh, one, two, two, three, 
and kind of four, so that would be kind of about like that. And if you kind of think of it like that. So so when you spread it out, you can see, you know, it, it's closed together here, but then that opens out. So then the, there's a kind of a flat bit at the bottom. I'm sure an engineer would have a really good term for it, rebate or something like that. Uh, I just call it a little flat bit at the bottom. <laughs> so it works in exactly the same kind of way and then you've got that bit there and that bit there and a bit going across and, and you just kind of draw around the edges. I'm just going to do this in pencil, I'm not going to ink it in. For a change, because uh, this is more a kind of a an instruction kind of thing about hands rather than oh, that's gone a bit too much there. Isn't it? I'll just make that a little bit better there, because that's looking a bit too. Um, and then you know you've got this kind of line across there, and you've got one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two, and again you know want it kind of shade more into the, 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 the knuckly bits. And the, are they called the knuckles on the inside? The knuckles are on the outside, aren't they? Um, the the bends, the folds. I don't know <laughs> what you call that bit. On the inside of your hand. I'm sure somebody will write a comment somewhere in the, in the comments box and, uh, and let me know what they think it is. And we can put a little bit of shading down here. I know some of you want me to do the thing about shading. Um, so maybe I'll try and do that next. So basically the light is coming from this direction. So that's kind of two hands just to get you going and just to get the basic feeling of it. Get your hand, look at it and draw your own hand. And when you're bored with that, ask a friend of yours to, uh, to do it. And just get this, this basic understanding of, 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 of the hand as being a kind of a, a circle. It's this block and these things going off kind of at 90 degrees to each other, the thumb and the hand. And if you kind of keep drawing that and keep practicing it, you'll, you'll kind of get the basic feel of the hand. And then, then I'll do some more lessons on, you know, how to do clawed hands and things like that.